Hello guys, thank you for joining me today for this beautiful Twin Flame reading. I hope you guys are well and you're staying focused, believing and trusting what you already know. Um, today is a very special day for me because 17 years ago I was blessed with a beautiful gift. Um, my son Billy, it's his birthday today so it's very special. So I'm really excited about doing this reading today to see what's going on with the Divine Masculines and the Divine Feminines. Um, so I'd really appreciate it and be so grateful if you could leave my son Billy a purple heart because it's his favourite colour. So thank you guys, if you could do that, it'd make his day. Um, and I'm going to be using the Archangel Animal deck today because I don't get to use that enough. I should use it a lot more and I really like that deck. So I'm going to start with the Divine Masculines and then I will be picking a card for you Divine Feminines at the end to help you stay focused, to believe and trust in what you already know. And of course I'll be doing some communication from the Divine Masculines as well. So um, I'm sending you my love, my support, my strength and light and I'll see you in a minute guys. Enjoy the reading. I love you. See ya. I'm here guys ready to do the reading. So as I said I'm going to be using the Archangel animal oracle deck. I'm going to start with the Divine Masculines. I'm going to pick a few cards for the Divine Masculines <clears throat> to see what energy they're in today, how they're feeling, what they're experiencing, what we need to know. So let's start shuffling. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me on my journey and supporting me on my journey and my channel. It really means so much to me. I'm so grateful and I'm so grateful to each one of you for taking the time out today to leave comments, to share your love with me and to share what's been going on your, with your journey. Um, it's very comforting to me and the whole purpose of this channel is for me to be connected to people all over the world so we can help each other and support each other because as you know this journey can be very painful and challenging at times because we're making our way back to who we truly are so we're releasing stuff that no longer serves us. So, thank you guys. I love you all so very much. And if you are new, welcome to my channel, Aligning with My Soul. My name is Zoe. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share, because it really does help the channel grow. And if any of you guys would like a clearer message for a unique, beautiful twin flame journey, um, if you'd like a little bit more guidance, just email me. It's in the description box down below and I can book you in for the private reading. And I do use the labels Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine because that's how I channel. Please don't be offended, just put it into your situation how it resonates with you. I do realise it's just energy. And the re my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when you've clicked onto the reading. If you feel connected to, to me and you understand me and the message resonates, it means it's for you. So what is it today we need to know about the Divine Masculines? What energy are they in? What are they experiencing? How are they feeling today? Nice, clear message. Yesterday they were feeling a bit overwhelmed by everything. So let's see what's going on today. Cat, be relaxed and independent. <laughs> Llama, set clear boundaries and enforce them. Yes. And the ladybird, accept happiness and good fortune. That's perfect, isn't it? And the way that's all come out, perfect. In, in, in such a nice order as well for me to do the reading. So that's amazing. Um, and at the bottom of the deck is parrot. Listen intently to understand. So they're learning to listen and to be so aware of everything that's going on within them and outside of them. They're just very conscious and aware, like I've said, guys. So they're learning to be more relaxed. You know, they felt very overwhelmed yesterday and learning to about managing their time and prioritising, you know, putting, thing, putting themselves first and put more energy into things that are important to them instead of putting their energy into stuff that really doesn't matter that's really not serving them anymore so let's see so today they're feeling more relaxed and you know 
they really are taking responsibility of themselves. This is why it's saying be relaxed and independent, <laughs> which is helping the Divine Masculines feel so much more empowered and yeah, so much more powerful and strong to cope with different situations because they're relying on themselves. They're not relying on anything outside of themselves. They're trusting, it is about them trusting themselves. And this, you know, independence is, you know, taking this responsibility. And because they're so much more relaxed, they are feeling sort of, they're in a place where they can receive and open up more and more and more to the guidance, the wisdom, you know, the love that they're seeking to help them in this situation. Um, learning to be quiet to be you know to have that time out from everything and to just to breathe and relax and that's what came out yesterday as well breathing to be calmer and when when we when we are calmer and we're relaxed we we do receive messages and the guidance that we're looking for because we're open it's like surrender it's like letting go so this is being independent this is taking responsibility because it means that they're not pushing or resisting, they're just being. So that's amazing. It's about being, them being more centred today, much more centred, and this balance, and feeling so much more balance, because they're actually relaxing and breathing. And they're learning about how important it is to make healthy boundaries, to set clear boundaries and enforce them, yeah. How sweet are those llamas? <laughs> Having a nice kiss, aren't they? <laughs> so yeah, it's about them making healthy boundaries as well. Make it, put in, putting it in place, these healthy boundaries, which is, you know, they're having to make healthy boundaries with their thoughts, you know, and removing things that no longer serve them. Thoughts, programming, belief systems, people, situations. They're putting this in place now and making these boundaries. So it doesn't, because they know that it has affected them. By setting clear boundaries is giving to themselves. So it is all about them learning how important it is to give to themselves. And because of these healthy boundaries, they are managing to manage their time better. And to put more power and love into the things that are important. Because they're letting what no longer serves them just dissolve and to go. And that this can mean so many things, healthy boundaries. But they are so aware and so conscious of everything that's going on. How they're feeling and what's going on outside of them as well. Because of this responsibility. They're feeling this strength now. And it does take strength to make healthy boundaries. It does. To make those decisions of what's right for you. What works for you. And if they, you know, managing thoughts does, you know, it is very draining, as you know, guys. And everything that's come out today is all because of what's going on within you. You could be experiencing the same thing, what you're having to deal with right now. And your divine masculine is feeling this, is feeling this shift within for, for them to actually feel this strength to make these boundaries and, to, you know, to feel more relaxed and the importance of being independent and taking responsibility. It's what you've been doing. And accept happiness and good fortune. And when you when you do this, when you do this, relax, be independent, be responsible, make these healthy boundaries with people, situations, thoughts, programming, beliefs, all of those things. You're open to receive, you know, and set. You can accept. It's you know, you you'll be able to accept happiness and good fortune. And it's time for the divine masculines to accept happiness and good fortune instead of depriving themselves, which they've done for such a long time. This is what they're learning to give, give to themselves and the importance of it. And as I said, this is what you're learning. <laughs> this is what you've done. It takes a while for us to get this, <laughs> you know, what this journey's about. They're doing this work because they do want to accept happiness and good fortune now. They know that there's so much abundance and so much happiness 
sitting there waiting for them. They know all this because they do have this deeper understanding because of this responsibility that they've taken with themselves and this relationship that they're having with higher power, with God, the universe, whatever word your divine masculine prefers to use. But they are, you know, the awareness is very, you know, they're so aware through the, through this huge transformation that they've had. They have had a big awakening and have learned so much and how it's benefiting them by making these changes. So they are learning to accept again. And we did have, you know, in the reading yesterday, no, not yesterday, on Wednesday, I think it was, what your soul wants you to know, what your other self wants you to know, what your true self wants you to know, and acceptance came out. It was a very powerful reading. Um, so because you know that that was a message for you divine feminines um about you learning to accept to be joyful and accept and keep opening up and keep opening up to receive because so much is opening up for you <laughs> this is about the divine masculines learning this they're learning this because of what you're doing because you're learning to accept happiness and good fortune so all of these cards work with each other and tell its own story, doesn't it? And the way that they, the way, how they come out, you know, the cat first, the llama, and then the ladybird. <laughs> so there's a lot going on with the divine masculines today. And it's all very positive. And as always say, guys, we know what's going on anyway, because we know what's going on within ourselves. We know what's going on within ourselves. We know what we're experiencing and whatever we do for ourselves and what we've got going on divine masculine's experience and um, but it's you know obviously hidden if you're in silence or you're not with a physical person there's some kind of challenge it's just that you don't know that and this is about you trusting what you already know you know things that big things are happening you know that you've had this huge transformation this what awakening and that you are very conscious aware and you're really feeling your divine masculine you can feel the difference within you and your divine masculine it's just about you trusting that and this journey is about trusting your intuition, trusting what you already know. So I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using George from Blue Eyes Tarot's Deck for the Communication. Divine Masculine, messages to the Divine Feminine to see what they'd love to communicate to you today. What is it the Divine Masculines would love to communicate to the Divine Feminines? Nice, clear message. What words would they love to express today to the Divine Feminines? You are my truth. I had to walk away. You're on my mind. <laughs> So that's very, we haven't had uh, You Are My Truth for a long time. So that's very powerful, isn't it, guys? Wherever you are, I'm with you. Yeah, you are feeling with each other. You, sorry, you are feeling each other because you are moving towards each other because you're getting closer and closer to who you truly are. You're moving away back home and you can feel your divine masculine more. And have more experiences it's just about if you believe it you know sometimes these experiences are so intense and then you think and then you go back into the 3d and you're you know like what you've got going on in your everyday and you're like oh no i must be going crazy you know I must have got that wrong something wrong with me but no it's about you believing these experiences and feeling you know the fact that you felt your divine masculine and you can hear your divine masculine and trusting yourself so your divine masculine is saying to you today you are my truth yeah you are my truth and they want to share their truth with you and that is what they are doing in this time when you're not with the physical person working on how they're going to share their truth with you and working on being true to themselves being true to themselves when you are with your divine masculine you bring them back to who they truly are and you know that's quite scary 
that's you know them having to really face their fears it makes it's it was reminding them and making them realize of how many things that they do have to work through you bring them to to their truth you are their truth because you're one and that's why it's so powerful when you are together because you come back to who you truly are and this is why we go into preparation so we can clear things that no longer serve us to remove things the fear the stuff that we believe for such a long time and we think oh that's impossible and we can't do this and all of those things we're changing our perception in the time that we're in preparation we're seeing we're changing how we're seeing things and changing it into love and putting love first in our life so this is why the divine masculine is saying you are my truth and that's because when you look into each other's eyes you can see into into to the soul you can see their truth self they know that you know the truth so I really do hope that this message helps somebody today because it's you know giving you this is a very significant message you know of what you are you know this worrying that you've been doing this craziness that you think you've got it all wrong you know this knowing that you have that the gets you know you get so distracted with what's going on in the 3d because none of it makes any sense and everything seems confusing you know your divine masculine is saying you are my truth you know, you know the truth so believe it trust in what you already know they had to walk away they did have to walk away to go into preparation to clear things and remove things from their life so they could learn about themselves, find themselves. So they can be in their truth. So they can be true to themselves, to be honest with themselves. And that is giving them themselves love, realizing they're deserving and worthy of love. And as I said, in the silence or when you're not with a physical person, it is the precious time. It's when you're clearing the fear so you can come back together and, and experience this beautiful relationship, this love that you feel for each other without the fear to being in the way. You're on my mind. You're always on their mind. Wherever they're going, whatever they're doing, you're always on their mind. And you know that because of what, how you, what you experience. So they're thinking about you a lot and they're missing you a lot but they want you to know that they had to walk away so they could find themselves and in the time when you're not with a physical person this is when you do your real work learn about yourself this is when you really find yourself i'm going to be using liz's deck divine masculine messages of love this house from guided by angels beautiful Liz. what is the message today from the divine masculines to the divine feminines nice clear message please what is the message <clears throat> Oh, there you go, look. You can't make this stuff up, can you? I want to speak my truth on you are my truth. And they know that you know the truth. Your smell drives me wild. That came out yesterday. So they're thinking about your smile. Um, smile. <laughs> your smell. Your natural scent. It's driving them crazy with your perfume. I promise you union. There you go, guys. Very powerful, isn't it? And at the bottom of the deck is I love. Sorry, how love is I turn my words all over the place. Sorry, guys. I'm going around the twist. Yeah, they want to speak their truth. They want to speak their truth to you because they know that you know the truth, and they are being truthful to themselves now. What this is what's so important that they have to be tr truthful to themselves first before they can express their truth to you. They're not denying this love, they're not burying this love, they're feeling this love, allowing this love with themselves. And that has been hidden from you, and that's very frustrating for some of you. And, and <clears throat> you may find it really hard to understand, but it is important that they speak them, they're, they're speaking their truth to themselves, allowing this love before they come and express their love to you. But they do want to speak their truth, and this is what they're preparing to do. 
and your smell drives them wild yeah so i mean this is very strong guys because it was in the yes it came out in yesterday's reading they're desiring you and smelling you <laughs> that just imagining what your smells like you know some of you haven't been intimate that they're imagining what it's going to be like or they're remembering a perfume that you wore when you last saw each other or as i said before what i've said before is you know it could be somewhere that they're going and the smell reminds them of you that something that you've done together it could be food drinks being nature just put it into your situation guys but that your smell drives them wild and they're thinking about that and they promise you union. Yeah, they promise you union. Of course you're going to be experiencing union. You're in union now. It's just when you can actually believe and accept that. So they're promising you union. They're doing everything in their power to be able to come and speak their truth. They want everything sorted out within themselves. They want everything to be right. And to be comfortable with themselves before they do come towards you so keep being in your truth keep being in honest with yourself because it's really important because whatever you do for yourself you're doing for your divine masculine as i always say you're doing it for your twin so keep being honest and truthful to yourself allowing yourself to feel this love don't allow yourself to be distracted by what's going on in the 3d see beyond the illusions be in your world of what you know is the truth all that matters is what you know and you are one soul with your divine masculine and when you're just being allowing yourself to be love to feel love your divine masculine will feel the same will do the same and speak his truth and come towards you and you will experience union but you have to create inner union this inner peace to create outer union and as i said when we realize that we are in union and we make our way back to who we truly are, home. The physical person will come back because you're one. They're not separate from you. You're dealing with yourself. And that is where we all go wrong on this journey is we see the divine masculines, all our divine feminines are separate from us. Because the love we feel for them is so intense and we can't explain it and we think, oh my goodness, we just think about the physical person, but it isn't about that. It's about what's going on within you. And when you do go concentrate on what's going on within you and take this responsibility, how you're feeling and allow yourself to feel love, you will have all the experiences and you know that you want to have with your divine masculine. So I'm gonna pick a card for you, divine feminines. The Archangel Animal are dead again, sorry, and um, I think I've forgotten how to speak today, guys. Let's see, what is it the Divine Feminines need to know to help them stay focused, to believe and trust in what they already know? What is the message today for the Divine Feminines to help them stay focused, to believe and trust in what they already know? Nice, clear message, please. Oops. B. <laughs> Liz will be happy with that. Spread heart healing with joy. And B's represent so many things. Miracles, communication, just wonderful things. So that's a, such a wonderful card for you. And at the bottom of the deck is sheep. Act with fortitude and cooperation. And it's Archangel Gabriel and Hope. Keep B, B <laughs> believing in what you already know, guys. There are miracles happening all the time. It's whether you're aware of it. And there will be communication. You will receive communication. Everything that you're wanting to receive, you will receive when you believe in. As I always say, when you believe, you receive. Keep seeing through the eyes of love, converting everything into love. Have that deeper understanding and put love into this situation. Spread your love. Spread your love with the world. Hold your head up high. Keep being you. Being. <laughs> you. And spread the love. Be joyful. Celebrate this love. 
And we can do that when we remove our ego, when we remove these thoughts that's telling us a lot of nonsense. Because that isn't who we truly are. We're not our thoughts. That's when we experience pain, when we believe our thoughts and we're just like being bombarded with these negative, toxic fear thoughts. When you actually sit quietly and realise that you are one soul, your divine masculine is coming back to you because you're one. You're meant to be, you belong with each other. Keep believing and trusting what you already know and trusting God the universe miracles are happening and you know this represents communication as well if that is what you're wanting and this is what you're wanting to receive believe you're going to get communication you will receive communication so i really do hope that you enjoyed this reading thank you for joining me today and if you are new don't forget to subscribe like and share because it really does help my channel grow and like I said, if any of you guys would like a private reading for a clearer message for your beautiful, unique twin flame journey, just email me. It's in the description box down below. And I hope you have an amazing, blessed day. And I'm sending you my love. My oh, by the way, yes, sorry, before I go on to that, can you leave Philly a purple heart, please? <laughs> and I'm sending you my love, my support, my strength and light. And I love you guys so much. See ya. Oh, that's your soul. Saying